Welcome back to Ulti TV's coverage of Windmill 2022. We are in to the mixed brackets and we're beginning with an all-European matchup. Two foes that have met numerous times over the years, Krutz and Redding. And it is Redding beginning on offense here. Benji Rees alongside Christina Obermeyer in the booth. Yeah, really excited for this matchup. And we're on the way already with Redding starting on offense. Yeah, these two, I think, played earlier in Swiss draw. And Hrut were able to take the victory there. And they take the point, they take the uh, pass away from Reading. Coming underneath. And a huge put from Hrut. We know they like to roast it deep. They're looking towards the back of the end zone. And the throw is on target for the early hook. Hrut break and the 1-0 lead. Yeah, just a tiny overthrow there from Reading. Not connecting in the middle and Hood not wasting a second of playing time to get that disc into the end zone. Beautiful deep shot. Into the end zone. A high disc and read perfectly by, I believe that's Minard. No, Flor Kulatz. I'm just trying to see, I couldn't, couldn't quite get a spy of a number right down in that end zone. So 1 0 Hrut lead, a break on the first point, which is exactly what Reading didn't need. And I believe that Hrut did lose to someone. Didn't they lose to Reading? Mm, smog, maybe? Smog to smog, yeah, sorry. Confusing those two. Probably not, not a good thing to do. Not great, no. <laughs> when I'm not a professional or anything. Not like I, I mean, get paid to do this. Oh, we did do. Big Null catches the ball. First pass goes to Lawrence Hill. Hill turns. Goes back to Big Null in the backfield. Here's Andy Lewis. Back with Redding. Oh my word, he's absolutely lashed that deep, but he didn't get anywhere near enough elevation on it, and it's out of the sideline. That's a zippy throw. Just not giving your receiver a chance at all. Sloppy start for Redding as Krut, Ben Ort of Krut walking. Yeah, towards that disc. against players of this quality, you cannot really be, you cannot really afford to be giving them too many chances. Not if you want to do make semis. Ort faking the flick, turns squaring up in field, now going around into the backfield instead. This is going to be a little bit of a stretch, but not a problem. Zips downfield, and now put deep. Orts going up against Bignall, it's hanging. Orts giving him space to attack it and he rips it out of the sky and posterizes Mark Bignall for the goal. It was a beautiful catch by Ort. Celebration with the whole team for that second break in a row. What a collection there for Orts. Now you can see when he's up, uh, gets underneath this, he gets a read on it and then he backs away from it slightly so he can give himself space to really go up and attack. Bignall tries to keep that position, but Ort goes up early and he gets so much air. And I think he's a, I think he's excited, Christina. Is he? I would he, he might be, yeah. He might be, yeah. I would be. New disc. They're calling for a new disc as he <laughs> smashed it to the ground so hard. No, that was a fair celebration for a very good play. So a new Euro disc is going to come on in replacement, I think. As 
running, They're waiting. It's so good to get that disc to start and pull. And so far it's been unforced errors for Reading, pretty much. Yeah, Huck too far. It's it's stuff that you can even at, that you can iron out, but the thing with Prot is that they don't really give you much time to uh, to work out any early kinks. If especially especially because Crot is an emotional team, and if they're high in emotions, they're going to be so positive and in their flow. It's so much harder to stop. That throw is behind Lewis. Another turn. Another rather unforced error. I release backhand towards the far sideline. Here's Dam, arguably the best player in the division last season. Finds Janssen on the end zone line. There's an upline cut there. That's got to go. It does go into the end zone. Suzanne Slob and with the goal, 3 0. And that's just too easy for Kud. They push a bit. Like their defense is tough and tight, but Reading overthrows the receiver. There's no one backing up that that play, although there could have been someone catching garbage maybe, but then it's just one to two passes up the line and easily into the end zone with a push pass. Did you see that he threw a push pass? It's the nonchalance of the whole thing. Reading, I believe, has called a timeout, which I would do in that situation as well, to really get your heads into the game because this is quarterfinals. Right? This is, it's bracket play. You, there's no, oh, we can tie and we can hope for a good position from there on out. It's, it's win or go home. Well, not actually because no. you play cock, but you get the point. Other scores in the quarterfinals. Smog up 2-1 on disconnection. Puti leading Euro Trash 1-0. Waitlist number one up 2-1 on ambush. And as we say here, Hrut 3-0 up on Reading. Yeah, you are getting a look at it. Win four. 40 teams in a mixed division. Quite a lot of action happening. Isn't it great? Yeah, it is. And it does mean that we'll be able to bring you both semi-finals later. The winner of this game playing the winner of Smog Disconnection. And uh, the other half of the bracket is the winner of Puti versus Eurotrash up against the winner of uh, Waitlist versus Ambush, which is taking place on field uh, on the blue field behind us. Benji, who do you think will win this oh. tournament in the mixed division? Are you back in Krut? Or do you think that the American team, one of the American teams can... I think the viewers yeah. will be the winners because they can watch it all live and for free on Ulti TV's YouTube channel. Yeah, and if, if you want to support us, and I bet you do because you're watching this right now, give us a bit of your money, give us three to four euros or more if you want to contribute more. Yeah, it's just the cost of a pint of beer a month or a cup of coffee if you're not a, uh, uh, if you're not a beer drinker. Go to our Patreon and support us, become a member. And you can also vote. Yeah, vote in, vote in polls, get exclusive extra content. And we're a shade under 10,000 YouTube subscribers. And we'd love to hit that today before finals day tomorrow. First pass connecting there for Reading. This is low. It's looking for Cardwell, but she can't get her hand underneath it. Pushing it in tiny space, but it's another opportunity for Kut. Whitcomb goes into the backfield. Here's Epstein. Epstein and Whitcomb just working it between themselves at the moment. Bowen puts it towards the break side. High. Damn, Epstein, this is so far comfortable for Hrut. Now towards the sideline, a few yards out from the end zone. Breaks the central. Across the far side of the end zone, and I don't think there's anybody in Ottawa that can stop Lola Dam once they get that isolation in the red zone. It is so devastating, and Hrut exploit it for the 4-0 lead. See, you see the patience of Kurt there. And I think that is the big difference between those two teams at the moment. 
Could I, looking for an open option and giving the disc, putting the disc into a space where a receiver can run under it. Reading are trying to push it through tight spaces, taking options quickly that are or are not there. Rushing it too much. I, I know they're under pressure to, to put, a, put a goal in, but like thinking about throwing before actually throwing it is really important. And you're seeing the graphic in the bottom corner of your screen there. We have achieved 10,000 YouTube subscribers. So a huge thank you to everyone who is joining us on our journey to help make Ultimate huge. It's already huge. I'm just going to get more massive. So Reading dug themselves into a deep hole here. Broken four times to start this game. Crew haven't even put an O-line out there yet. Women of the dominant gender, so a female puller, Dam, to the other side of the field. Lewis finds Roberts central. Thought about the deep option, put it in the locker instead! and comes flying through for the block. What a, what a play by Duncan. One of my friends who is actually Austrian, so I have to highlight yeah. him a bit. Living in Utrecht and playing for Krutz this season. Slow, wants to jack it down the sideline. And she got a receiver, oh my word. This is poetry in motion from Krutz. The layout D, the ping down the sideline to the back corner. Is there anything Krut can't do at the moment? 5-0. They came to play. Yeah, they definitely did. I don't I don't know if they can, they can do anything right now. They're, as I said, riding on that high, taking that flow on as we see that huge layout D again. Shout out to his home team, Mosquitoes, and Plus and Neuburg for teaching him that stuff, maybe. Maybe he came up with that on his own, but beautiful stuff from Krut. Loda Dam with the with the goal there. Beautiful put from Slow. Just did not you do not have a huge ma margin for error down that sideline, and she absolutely nailed it. So we're only a little over ten minutes gone. Krut five nil up. All of those breaks as well. This is so uh, impressive. This is devastating. Not turned it over yet. Reading played a game like that earlier today. It's also streamed actually. But they were up 8 1 at halftime. Now they gotta find that momentum again. Roberts to Bignall on the sideline. Caldwell's got a little bit of space, but Bignall wants to be more circumspect and hammers over the top to Lewis. Buying his trade in the mixed division once more after moving to the open division for Clapham. Out in front of Bignall, snags it and then bounces it off the far sideline. There's Lewis all the way open towards this sideline and Hill stretches it towards him. Transitioning into one-on-one -on -one defense now and Lewis looked away at precisely the wrong moment and Hill threw it straight to Krut and Epstein calls the timeout. Veteran move there, trying to secure the sixth break in row before that first half time, that first half ends with half time, just using the timeouts you have. Yeah, we're gonna take a little bit of a break here during the timeout, but we'll be right back with you for the rest of this game. The ultimate things in life are free, and we're keeping it that way. Subscribe to keep up with the latest games, tournaments, and community content. Share it with your team and friends, and drop a like to help spread ultimate to more people. Spread the word, spread the love. Okay, my team.
Welcome back to Ulti TV's coverage of Windmill 2022. Epstein has the disc checked in off the timeout as Kruit looking for their sixth consecutive break. Here's Ort. The caps come, the caps come off and uh, I think he's fouled on the mark, uncontested, and he'll get a chance to put that hack back on. Slaps hands with Andy Lewis. Oh, smiles. Yeah, game being played in good spirit. Swinging in the backfield. Fakes the backhand. Looks to come underneath. Stoppage. Heads up play by Epstein there to rescue it, even though there was the pick. Well, he had to catch yep. it, otherwise it would have been a turnover. Taking around, Reading trying to push the stall count high. Boss to Epstein. Wants to really rip that in there, and it's taken away by Reading. We've earned the disc back. First time Hrut have turned so far this game. Lewis to Roberts. Cardwell to Bignall, looking downfield. Swinging instead to Lewis. Trying to get some rhythm in this offense. Bignall's charging away. Trying to pick up the switch, they've done that well. Bignall on the sideline now. A little leading throw to Roberts. Roberts wants to shoot this one to the end zone to Lewis. And Reading finally get on the board, but they're still in a huge hole here, 5-1 down. It was beautiful flow, flow from Reading. First time we've seen that. And good connection there. And they did that. They were more patient. They were looking at the options, putting it from one side to the other, not forcing it into small corridors, but switching, switching the si sides of the field. See Bignall with that leading pass opening up all the space on the break side and Roberts putting it into the end zone. A bit risky, but Lewis is there far earlier than his defense. In the other quarterfinals, Disconnection up 4-2 on Smog, Hootie up 4-2 on Eurotrash, and Waitlist and Ambush over on the other streaming pitch behind us, tied at threes. So Disconnection just scored four points in a row. Was Smog 2-0 up? Yeah. And they must have done it. Interesting. A nail biter. Do you think we'll see the same thing here? Redding scoring another. I'd be surprised. Four points. But you never know, because Kruit haven't had to put an O line out so far. So you wonder, you know, first time coming out into the game, are they a little bit cold cocked, perhaps? No, I don't think so. You feel like they're, they're experienced enough at this point not to be, but we shall see. Anything can happen, especially when there's firing defense from Redding coming the other way. Here's Ort. Low into the centre of the field for Janssen. Janssen cranks it deep and uh, puts it out of the sideline. Well, well, well. Shaking his head in frustration. He knows that that was not an ideal pass. What were you saying? He shook his head in frustration. No, 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 before Wait, about what? how, yeah, the Chris will be fine. Oh yeah, they will be. Just watch them play defense now. And they're gonna have to play defense to earn it back. That's how it works. Nice little thread close. through in the middle to Wilson. Knight on the far side. Knight wants the jacket as well. This throw is gonna hang and it's gonna float. Can he be reeled in falling over? No, not quite. That was a risky. Yeah, a little bit. But they nearly, they nearly made it work anyway. On this yeah, occasion, though, yeah, Kroot were just able to get enough defenders back there that it's so difficult to fit it in that window. I told you they will be fine, Benji. Yeah, my point's about the fact that they hadn't played offense. Yeah. You're completely right. Huge gain to Janssen. Yeah, Janssen. Well, he wants to huck his way out of trouble. Looking deep for Coulart's right on the money. Wants the reset to Minard. So often the rock of this O-line. Towards the sideline. Toed inbounds, but not in the end zone just yet. Wants the reset off, here's Ort. Now running give-go in the backfield. 
Menard tries to go up line. Her and Janssen cover each other up, but then Janssen comes back into the backfield. I'd like to see them utilize that poach a bit quicker. Really bounce it off them. Menard to Janssen. Janssen inside flicks a little behind, but caught. And then the continuation into the end zone for Ort for the goal and 6-1. You said something about them using the, those poachers quicker, but I think waiting and looking how the poachers react on different ang angles and different throws is also something really important that you have to find out first and they exploit it here with that break continuation, but pushing into those poachers can sometimes rush you in a position where you have to, um, you by mistake throw into one of them. Yeah, I know, I know I know what you're saying. You just think, oh someone's opening, you're not you've not you haven't quite necessarily scanned the whole field. Especially in the end zone. Or towards towards the end zone. When when space is really at a premium. Yeah. And they you are. don't have the option of just bombing it deep. Yeah, there's a replay of the score. Inside flick to Mankau who continues to or to the side of the end zone for the goal. Six one for Chut. China going to get back this D train rolling once more on defense. Six consecutive breaks to start the game. Reading will hope that they finally cured their offense. Well, that was an, was offense for Put, Put, wasn't it? Yeah, um, the previous O point for Reading. Felt like they maybe they something had clicked a little bit. Leads to Coons. To Lewis in the centre. Wants the quick dish off and gets it back. Surveying, scanning the field. Goes into the backfield. Continuation to Bignall. Taking off resets, Cauldron. Pops it back to Bignall. Struggling to generate space downfield. Little break. Find Coons at the front of the stack, and here's Lewis. Lewis looking to the sideline. Leicester keeps it in bounds. Into the centre. Bignall continues. Lewis into the end zone for Roberts for the goal. Much smoother now. It feels like Reading have uh, worked out some of the kinks, but it might be too little too late. Well, the games aren't over yet. Just started, actually. And Reading did do a very good job of taking the open options this time, not forcing it anywhere, but also resetting and resetting again and again to people that were poached off or rather open to get it, get those cutters into a good position, giving them a good timing to then advance up the field. Playing more fundamental ultimate, maybe. Six two split lead. A very tasty margin at the moment. Reading trying to see if they can find a way to earn some of these breaks back. It's so difficult when you dig yourself that hole early. There's a whole mental barrier then as well of even if you get one, you're still so far behind. And as I said, it's back at play now. Goal difference doesn't matter anymore. It's whether you win or lose. But the way Reading played this morning, they still have it in them. Very short pull that lands out. They're going to take it at around midfield, Ort, that is. Ort from the sideline. Shows the big instantly in the all cheeky blade down this channel. Kalatz puts a hammer back in the locker. Janssen pumping that backhand fake. Takes the reset to Ort. Ort to Minard. A little bit of a stretch, but not a problem. Looking downfield. Doesn't like the upline. All the dump. High stall. Tries to blade towards the back of the end zone and could climb the ladder. And reel it in for the score. Tom Blassman with the goal. They're talking about whether it is a goal or not, and it will be called 
inbounds. Ott really asking for that disc on the around shot, but Minard decides not to go back, but putting it into the end zone herself. Got a bit lucky there, but whatever works. See wild fakes. High disc and what a grab. It is nice that even if you get yourself into some sticky situations, you've uh, you've got the ability to make those big plays to get you out of jams. And I think for having to, uh, or yeah, timeouts to use. So just uh, take a little bit of an extra breather here before before half time. Half time. Yeah, seven two the current score. Maybe so rest your D line as well. Yeah, quite potentially. So we're going to take a little break here as well. Welcome back to Ulti TV's coverage of Windmill 2022 mixed quarterfinal action. Hurt and Reading, a team that, well, Reading, I think historically maybe have had the word over Hurt, but at the moment, all that that monkey seems to got fully off Hurt's back because Reading are in deep trouble here, down seven to two in your other mixed quarterfinals. Smog and disconnection tied at fours. Putty up 4-2 on Euro Trash, and on the streaming field behind us. Ambush from India are up 5-3 on waitlist from the USA. Some tight scores in the other fields, but here, rather decisive yet. Yeah, at the moment, feels like it's very much Hutz Graham to lose. As that blading pull lands relatively short, roll partially stopped, and it rolls pretty to hill, pretty much dead on the brick mark. What a world. Reset struggling to get free. So instead the break is to Lewis. Cordron into the backfield. Underneath is Roberts. Knight cuts laterally across the field. He spanners it and can't hold on. It's the kind of mistakes you can ill afford in a game like this against a team like this, but especially if you're in this hole. He was lasered out with that shot. If he's that quick, it's hard to get that disc under control. Put now looking to break for half. Foul called. Didn't see uh, what precisely the infraction was. But it's checked in. Fakes the deep, dishes off to Ort. He's got Lewis in very close company. Leads Epstein up line. Dishes back to Ort. Reset goes, and there is a pick. Very far off. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly when the precisely when the pick occurred. But where can we get the chance to check it in? Fakes the underneath option. Still camp beginning to rise, just a little dish off towards. Trying to run the show on the D line and there's a pick downfield again. Another one. This time Leicester's going to get a chance to catch up. Epstein looking around, a little lefty there. Finds Boss. Boss to Ort. 
showing that flick and he wants to put the backhand to the sideline and he got that one wrong. And uh, Epstein was waiting to see if maybe it would come back in bounds. Hill wasn't going to give him the opportunity. Released a bit too late. Making that disc travel outside rather than inside. But on the first pass, Reading cannot get anything open. And the throw looking for Roberts is well defended by Ten Carter. That one zipped, looking for Lewis. Strip call, perhaps. We'll get a second look at that. Uncontested in the end, so it's going to be with Ort. Floats this flick out to Epstein. Trying to grind, close pressure from Roberts, doesn't get there. Trying to get revenge on Tenkato, who puts it down the sideline. Was it towed in? I had no angle on it from here. Another stoppage. I'll tell you what, that is good. Bob Bignall had a look at it on the replay monitor and gave this and very spiritedly gave the signal to his teammates that it was in. And that'll be half a chritz on a little bit of toe drag swag. What a play. Keeping the composure like that is amazing. And we're going to see that again. Uh, eight two, not seven three, look at that in a second. He's going to just put it up the line. It looks super close, but his toes stay in all the way. I mean, that is, that is how you do it. That is how you do it. So Kruitz going into half on Reading, 8-2 here, and looking to seal up a place in the mixed semi-final against the winner of Puti and Eurotrash. But at the moment, Puti up 7-4 in that one. In the other quarterfinals, Smorgan disconnection still at fours. Ambush now up 7-3 on waitlist number one. We're going to take a little bit of a break for half time, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with you very shortly. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches, and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and, and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. So loads of tournaments happening, which you can attend either as a player or a spectator. You can find them on Ultical. He's in a great spot. Yeah. He's in a perfect spot. Yes, his massive head has blocked everything. Oh. That was a huge play, yeah, but we have seen face. none of it. Finney, Finney, he's done it. Welcome back to Ulti TV's coverage of Windmill 2022. Mixed quarterfinal action with Hrutz at the moment in a domineering position over old rivals Reading from the UK. Krut up 8-2 to two, and to make matters worse, to pile it on a little bit, they're receiving to begin the second half. Spenji Reese in the booth alongside Christina Obermeyer. Hope you're all doing good because we're doing great, Spenji, right? Oh, I'm, I'm vibing, I'm loving life. Windmill quarterfinals mixed. It's going to be more quarter and semi-final action for you to watch here. Two live stream fields. Yeah, we've got breaking news for you on uh, the live stream games for the next round on this field. 
It's Clapham versus Is No Good. They drew 13 all in Swiss draw, but there will have to be a winner. And in the mi in the women's semi final, we are going to be streaming 3SB versus Enjraladas. 3SB also in the semi final. Well done. That's one of my picks for final, so I'm really. A bit, bit of Eastern European representation. Yeah. Really glad it worked out for my picks. So 8 2. Just getting ready to receive here to begin the second half. Their O line. Out for the oh yeah, third only the time? Only the third time. But I'm, I, I bet some of those players have been subbing in for D because you can't really just play with your D line, can you? No, you've definitely seen Ork come over a few times, Janssen once or twice. But there is a good core here that's pretty much exclusively playing offense. Krupp bring it in. Expansive blade over the sideline looking for Harris and it's right over his head from Ort. Could have just jumped or tried to do a good play on that, but he, wanna, he wants to play some defense, he wants to get some meters, and that's a drop Wow! by Redding. A stone cold drop. Yep, yeah, that's that sort of game at the moment for Redding, I'm afraid. They get the disc and immediately give it back. One bad turn deserves another. Ort. Fakes the first shot, takes the underneath to Janssen instead. Defender on his back shoulder, doesn't matter, ripping it towards the back of the end zone, where Monkow makes the grab for 9-2. to two. Another daring shot, but so much trust in this quad team, and especially the O-line. It's ruthless, isn't it? It is ruthless. He has so much skill. Look at that grab, and immediately goes up for the score. You can't afford to give a team like this second chances and Reading have given them, unfortunately, have given them those chances. But they even gained yards on that. Yeah. And got in, got it a lot more central. Life is, uh, life could be cruel. Frisbee can. What is Frisbee if not life on a field? Bit Another excellent point, Benji. It happens occasionally. Bit of wind picking up here now. The sun's peaked behind the clouds. Might be in for a wet one later tonight. More typical Amsterdam weather. I Those was going to say, yeah. 30 degrees and sunshine don't seem to be the typical. No, I was, I was wilting a little bit. I will not lie to you. Lewis wants to get it off the sideline. Little low air bouncy. Somehow Roberts comes up with it. Poaching off there for Kud. Yeah, Force did a really good job of coming round to stop giving it to that poached player. Knight. Fakes the flick and it's a bit behind Lewis. That was there if the placement was right, but it was on the wrong shoulder. Just lead this a little further into space and it should be good. Trying to get an athletic bit on that, but just out of reach for Lewis. Pumps the flick, goes underneath. Galatz has come over to play by the D. Squeeze down the sideline to Lola Dam. Dam into the center, it's fluttery, and it looked like it didn't have a lot of rotation, and Galatz rescues it regardless. Enough ground under it for Fleur Kulatz. Marcia Kulin finds Kulatz. Points where she wants the next option. It's not there. This offense looking a little bit messy, but hurting through it regardless. Scuff. Towards the sideline. Ripped into the end zone. Despite the wind, no problem. Dunchen with the goal. And it did look a little messy, but it never looked like they had a pressure, a, lo a load of pressure. The resets were coming off. They were tight, but you still catchable. 
And Redding tried poaching a bit, but then miscommunicating as well. So look at that inside shot. Yeah, Roberts did so well to keep that alive, but Redding couldn't make the most of it. This was Florculart's doing Florculart's things. Yeah. We're not even surprised anymore. Yep. It's just day day the day things. See, they're switching off, leaving the thrower completely alone to do whatever they want. There's no problem with switching, but you've got to communicate that a lot more effectively. Yeah, I agree. Switching can be a most useful tool. Work smarter, not harder. Quick, still getting coaching instructions on the sideline, despite the score. Well, despite the score, like you have to always play your hardest. I agree. It's, it's also, at, at this point, it's managing your buddies. It's end that game quickly to have more energy for the next games coming tonight, semi-final, maybe. Unless Reading manages to get back into voice, but seems unlikely at the moment. Yeah, but I don't want to. Things have happened. Yeah. Here's Wilson. Definitely have. Inside to Coons. Coons wants to shoot deep, looking for Wilson. He's come all the way through from the handler spot, but again, Krut have the answer. This time it's Bohm. That's playing Krut's against against a game against her. It's not ideal. Again, they're trying something different, but everything they've tried, it feels like Hurt have the answers for, as this one is tipped by Leicester, and Roberts is just about there to stop it from being completed. What a D, exactly what Reading needed in that moment. And they get another try at an offensive hold. Yeah, Leicester coming across to cover, preventing that heart from Dam. Big nod to Coons. Coots to Wilson, turning, looking, taking the flick, now goes across inside, Roberts continues to big north. Coons clears out and the reset goes to Wong instead. Downfield, Reading trying to churn up the yards here. Big north up line. Throw goes, still not in the end zone, but this one will be as he finds Roberts, who's now scored two of Reading's three goals, I think, for 10-3. Good stuff from Reading there. They had to work really hard to get that disc into the end zone. See that deep shot before, taking a lot of risk. getting it back as well and then putting it into the end zone through hard cuts and working with the whole team, not not just crucial parts of it. Yeah, when these two sides played in round three of Swiss draw yesterday, Hruit came out 15-10 winners. If Reading could pull it back to that, That'd be very good. They'd have done a they'd have done a remarkable job. Obviously, that's not what they came here for, though. Elsewhere in the mixed division quarterfinals, Smog up five four on disconnection, Pooty up eight five on Euro Euro Trash. The winners of that game play the winners of this. I think uh, no, that's not right. The winners of this play the winners of Smog disconnection, which at the moment is Smog, who beat Kr eleven ten yesterday. Ambush up nine four on waitlist. So looking like an uh, ambush Pooty semi-final. Interesting. Be another banger. You can watch live here. Because we will TV. be streaming both semi-finals for you in the mixed division. You lucky people. Ort. Harris clears it out deep. And Janssen comes under. Looking for some zone now, Reading. Seeing if... Maybe they can't match the athleticism, they can outfox their opponents. Ort. Minard.
Low onto the sideline for Blasman. That wide brimmed hat. Minard looks faking that low release. Gets a much, much larger mark. Still gets it to Janssen, zips it through to Harris. Harris to Kalatz in the front of the end zone for the goal. Was so nonchalant, you'd barely have known. 11 to three. They're Reading coming out in a zony poachy look, but pushing Krud to throw hammers, scubas, and creative stuff is just giving them a playground to do whatever to they want to on. Because they're so good at, at those exceptional throws. The unconventional stuff, that's what makes them very u unique, in my opinion. You can see that Klut are a bit of a crowd favourite. Well, they're from the Netherlands. Yeah, and so they always do tend to draw uh, the eyes of the uh, Frisbee public here in, here in Amsterdam at Windmill. Yeah, I get that. And elsewhere as well with their swashbuckling style of play. Swashbuckling? Yeah. Never heard that word before. Oh, it's a great word. It is. So getting ready to pull here. It's focus car. Here's the pull. Going for that inside out backhand, wanting to boom it deep. First pass tonight. Lewis plants and comes towards the break side. Disc is reset to Hill. Downfield. Field is a real struggle for Reading. Everything's coming out of a high stall count. Lewis has it now. Trying to break it open with his throws. Got a receiver going deep. Epstein answers the defensive call. What a great position from the hood defender. Deep shot and just gets up early. They're pushing throws that they weren't before and it has worked so much better from the, for them when they cut under. That's the thing with Clutch as well. Not only have they got such a distinctive style that works so well for them, but it often draws opponents into trying to match that. And generally, it's difficult to out foot foot. Try saying that after a few beers. No, nope. I won't even try. Rather static from Kut. Scott. Wants to lead this throw into space for Dunshaw. Whitcam. Dam up against Roberts, and Roberts got a better read of it. Waiting whether there is a call on the field. Looks as though play is stopped. You can see that replay. Calling a push off, maybe. Retracted foul for the hand signals, which means that Reading gets another opportunity. And behold. Leicester initiates, now clears out. This is a break around from Knight on target. Squeezing it down the sideline, Andy Lewis has it. There's gonna be a stoppage. Haven't seen a hand signal. A foul call on the throw, maybe, or? But the disc was caught anyway, wasn't it? 
Maybe an offensive foul. Offensive foul. Hmm. Interesting. Seems back to back fouls had been called. Offensive as well as a defensive foul. And they're discussing it now. Play is coming to a resolution. And just going to go back. Everyone's just going to get set. get the disc off the sideline tonight. Lewis powers out. It just goes underneath instead. Oh. The force is on the floor. Didn't exactly see why. We'll see it on the replay. Ah. Uh, I'll be honest. Not entirely sure what's happened there. Me neither. This will be back with Redding. Still is four. Zipping it through to Hill. Goes to ground to secure it. Hill opens it up, looking deep. The put for Klima is on the money. Klima tonight. Flows this towards the break side. Lewis jogs it down for the score. If Reading had started like this, we'd have some game. We still have a game. That is true. I don't know if it's, it's over. Got some time left. And Hula looking, still looking good, but a bit more settled than before and Reading firing. Yeah, Reading have found a bit more consistency offensively. It's still not easy for them. No, but they didn't expect it to be easy. No, you can tell that they're having to work for every disc to get every pass off. Whereas it feels a little bit more fluid and natural for Kruitz at the moment. But this time they managed to isolate one player, find out the matchup that maybe is favorable for Reading and put, putting her in a position to get that disc deep, rather than putting it into a space where a cut defender has position or even a chance at getting that disc first. See some of the fans here enjoying the view. Can't exactly blame them. No, definitely not. Not quite as hot as it has been, but still a really lovely afternoon for some ultimate here in Amsterdam. Ball's going to land out of bounds. And Alt is going to brick it. Gonna brick it. Rather than take. So they'd rather take the field position than the 10 meters they'd get in front. Yeah, just say we'd rather have it in the middle where we can really attack both sides than maybe the maybe negligible gain of yards. Ball play from a split stack. Get Menard coming underneath, resets to Janssen and continues around to Ort. Ort opens it up, Kulart streaking deep. Can she read it? Of course she can. It's right on the money from Ort to Kulart. We've seen that combination so many times and it connects once more for 12 4. Why would you even question that? Of course she gets here. But might, have been, might have been over or under thrown. Yeah. Defender might have got a chuck. Yes. yes. She's always the favourite there, to be honest. But. Still have to make the catch, and didn't she make it well? Oh, the defender was very close. Sorry, Benji. Definitely. It's all right. Should never question you again. Never question me again. Yes, I will never. I know that. My bad. 
You'll get my formal apology letter in the mail in the next few days. Ooh, a letter? Yeah. It's exciting. Nobody sends letters anymore. Well, I do. Except the tax Because I don't, I don't apologize often. If I do. So you really make a point of it. Yeah. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Put doing their jobs exceptionally well right now. 12-4 up in this mixed quarter final. These two seeds, the second and seventh seeds. The winner of this faces the winner of uh, Smog Disconnection, which is tied at sixes. That Quite must be an intense yeah, game. Yeah, an attritional game there. Meanwhile, the other semi-final will be between the winner of Pooty Euro Trash, currently Pooty up 9-6, and Weightless number one versus the this Ambush. This coming right at us. Ultimate Club, um, Ambush up 11-4. I wasn't worried. I've got nerves of steel. Well, that was close anyway. I mean, it literally hit us, but yes. Did it hit you? Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Who's got it out for you? Uh, I don't know. I was too busy looking at the scores. So Reading also choosing to take it from the brick bar. Maybe with the wind, they don't want to get it trapped on this side, on this downwind sideline. Lewis floats it out for Leicester. Low, brilliantly athletic grab there from Coons. Offhand into the centre for Wilson. Finds Lewis. Fakes the flick, looking for options. Inside, across the field for Leicester. You can feel the wind really has picked up now. Inside to Roberts. Roberts shoots for Coons down the sideline for 12-5. Beautiful flow for Reading there. Working it down that sideline, that's probably not the favorable position for them, but we're doing that very well. Leicester getting that just in bounds and what an amazing grab, jumping. The, the contortion and body control required. Exceptional work. And that's just a clean hold for Reading. Beautiful inside and quick continuation just manages to tow that in. Twelve five Hrut lead. Reading trying to find a way to come back in this game. But as yet unable to get any bre any breaks on the Dutch. Yeah, that might be their biggest goal now. Just get one or two breaks, get the flow starting. That disc is gonna flow towards the sideline and out. Yeah, you can see what effect the wind's having because these discs, they hang for a while and then they all get pushed out of this sideline. So I don't know. So I think if you're pulling, that's something to take into account. And I probably pull right over from the far side. Yep, I'd agree. Ort immediately rips it. Oh, this is a sky ball. Who's going to come down with it? Bignall gets the hand on there to knock it away. Not a great throw that from Ort. Scott catches down the sideline. In, finds it through to Cardwell. Or tried to poach off to get in the way. Bignall flicks down the side. Wilson fakes once. Turns. Now looking deep. Reeled in. Across to Cardwell. Cardwell fakes that first flick. Now player comes out of the stack, but it bounces off the hands. Unfortunate error for Reading. Gives the disc back to Hodge once again. Yeah, their D-lines had so little possession that it's, it's difficult to really get that to match the intensity of their opponents. Bignall really frustrated about 
the way Harris was free. Now you can see that he sets such high standards for himself and his team. And not happy with the product they put out there. That's going to be a pick. Another pick. Very tight stack on that cut side. Disc is checked back in. Janssen. He was looking for a deep option. There wasn't anything there. Minard comes underneath. Janssen slashes up line. Minard has to break it low and it's too far for Ort. Reading have been able to increase the pressure from their defence. Bingnell immediately swings and it's too far. And that hurts. Getting that, not getting off that reset. Seems really stressed on the Reading side. You can see that there's frustration there. It makes sense. Blasman, what a delicious around break. Making the flick, and that is going to be too far behind. Well, behind off target for Kulats. McGreedy runs through and gets the D. That's the third turnover at this point. Starting to get a bit messy. This might be Reading's best opportunity for a break, and that one is tipped I think by Janssen that definitely came off in a weird angle but this is giving it back to Kud on an easy error speared into Janssen Janssen rips it Bignall tries to jump but can't get there McGreedy gets her second D of the point frustration out of Kula it's understandable as both teams just trying to jacket it down the field. All of a sudden, Reading seems to have found a way to really threaten and uh, worry through its offense. Yeah, they put on a lot of pressure, especially pushing down on that the, those female matchups. But they are running out of time. With only 10 minutes left and another simple drop. On a stoppage or Benoit directing traffic? No, I think there's a maybe a little bit of a foul there as Ort picked the disc up and tried to get it in quickly. Over the top, looking for Harris. This time, on the fifth time of asking, Kurt finally put the O in for 13-5. That was a, an intense point and a hard thought one. But the momentum definitely with, with Kurt has been all game and now just proving that they are on top for a reason. For all the chances they gave Reading, I'm not sure their opponents necessarily ever look like scoring. Yeah. That was the closest they came. But a couple of just simple drops or throwaways for both sides at that point. Maybe tiring a little bit. Yeah, it's been over an hour of playing and even if you are in the driver's seat as Kut is, it's still a lot to concentrate for that long period of a time at once. And it's difficult to not play at full intensity. Well, you, you couldn't. Yeah. You want to end that game as quickly as possible. Yeah, players of this caliber don't know anything different. You can't give that foot, that foot off the gas for a second because that's when Reading would come back and punish you for it. Knight finds Lewis coming underneath. Lewis surveying his options. Hill wants to go up line. Plants goes back into the backfield. Lewis gets it to him. And now Lewis goes deep. That's where Hill's looking. And the puts on the money. Hill's found his range late on in this game. 13 6. It was a beautiful put. Again, just the touch on this. Because it's weighted brilliantly. 
fakes it, just looks up, pings it. You can see, carries through the wind. Closest defender is actually Marcia Kulin, I think. But she's not close enough. And Lewis sprints downfield for the goal. No, I'm guessing she didn't even see that throw come up in the first place. She might not have done. Mysterious banging sounds somewhere in the distance. Maybe someone's tried to fire up Lolo's fire engine and it's backfired. Oi. It doesn't sound good. Let's hope that didn't happen. No, me neither, because that's where I'm sleeping. Oh. You know what they say, the fire engines are rocking, don't come a-knocking, because I'm probably snoring away in there. That's very rude. It would be. So I don't know. Haven't seen that too many times this game. All players have by now. Crossed over to the D line once or twice, I think. Yeah, if they can put this in here, it'll bring them one point away from a semi final spot. We're at 65 minutes. Here's Ort. Kalart's plants to come under. But instead, Ort goes to Blasman. Blasman to Janssen. The long, lean Janssen fakes the hammer. And the bucket hatted. Blastman down the line to Kalartz. Kalartz just thinking about that hammer, but putting it back in the toolbox for now. I wish you would have thrown that. Or not sure of the, not in the end zone just yet. Minard going sideline to sideline, and it works as they find Blastman on the pass from Bardol for 14 6, and they're one point away from the semis. Beautiful composure there, flowing from one side to the other. Advancing the disc without a lot of pressure from Hood, argu uh, from Reading, arguably. And that is game point for Hood. It is indeed. Reading is going to do everything in their power to stop it for now. Yeah, I was going to say the longer they can put this game go on, the better. But there is a limit because if they're not within. If, the, if it's not equal or one point away, when they finish the point where the cap goes on, game immediately ends. So the comeback is not going to happen at this point. Seems very unrealistic. You don't think seven points in three minutes, not? No. It's not happening, but Reading can still try and finish this game on a high. Yeah. And take it, take that momentum into their consolation brackets. Reading put up a fight, good one against Krud, just powerhouse out, out of the Netherlands. I'm a little bit surprised that I haven't seen Reading play a bit more zone. Well, they played one point, didn't they, in the zone, and didn't work out too great. And also they started on offense quite many, many times, and then re resetting on setting up a defense after, uh, uh, the zone defense. After starting on always really hard, and there we go with a block from Lola Dam. Beautiful stuff. Gives that disc. She to just Kurt. closes the ground so quickly, and Leicester's not exactly a slow matchup. Boss picks up. Kurt looking to break for the win. Swung and just sneaks through the hands of Bardol. It's a good field position for Reading, but. As we hear the jingle now. So this will be the last point of the game, whether it's 15-6 or 14-7 now, it's the question. That one all oh, tipped by Lewis, and he climbs the ladder to get it back again. Coons. Puts this one out in front for Klima. Klima doesn't like the inside instead. Looking for Roberts, who was sent to make the catch. That'll do it. End of game at 14-7. Krupp will still take their place. 
in the semi-finals, but a nice way to end for Reading. Meanwhile, we're switching over to open and women's action. Semi-finals going on there. We're going to be streaming Clapham versus Is No Good on this pitch with 3SB versus Enreladas on the blue field behind us. But for Christina Robermeyer, I'm Benji Reese. Game over. Your final score is Clit 14, Reading 7.